Welcome back to Loyal TV. We're in Bartlesville to learn how one ingenious young engineer revolutionized oil production in America forever. My father was kind of an electrical genius. Uh, he never worked for anybody. And when he was in college, in fact, his professor was working for him. And he just simply, you could say thought outside the box, or maybe just go one, one step further. Armias Aratunov was born in 1893 in the Caucasus Mountains between the Caspian and the Black Sea. In his early 20s, Aratunov finds himself in the middle of the most explosive political event of the 20th century, the Russian Revolution. As the revolution rages on, Russia isn't conducive to invention and industrial development, so Aratunov, his wife, and their two children escape to Germany. There, he continues his work on an unbelievable idea, the submersible pump. And he had an idea, which even though he had built the, what are now called Reda pumps in Russia and also in Germany, still when he brought them to America in 1923, he came over here at age 30, my mother a little younger, with a uh, four-year-old and a one-year-old. And they exhibited in, I think, Chicago in the Petroleum Exposition. and. Uh, General Electric wanted to have him arrested for fraud because they said, there's no way you can build an electric motor four or five inches thick and four or five feet long because by the time it got three feet long or two feet even, it would melt in the middle. And my father's idea was he wasn't building electric motors, he was building pumps that used electric motors. And if you take the liquid you're pumping and pump it through the motor, Guess what? It cools the motor off. Not only that, it warms the liquid up and makes it flow better. When the Aratunov family arrives in the United States in 1923, they would find themselves in Michigan, but they quickly travel to the West Coast. Then they went to California, and they were involved with uh, Van Wert from Texas, who was a big Wheeler dealer oil man. And the problem with my father's pumps, motors were great, was they went to California, but there was enough sand and stuff in the liquid that was being pumped that it wore the impellers out too soon. So you had to figure out some way to have a diffuser. My dad developed a diffuser that would separate the liquid from the solid, which was obviously a little bit heavier in specific gravity and so forth. Despite his genius design, Aratunov fails to find support for his invention. He moves the family to Bartlesville, Oklahoma in 1928 at the urging of a new acquaintance, Frank Phillips, head of Phillips Petroleum Company. And with Phillips' backing, he developed his device for use in oil wells. The device becomes critical in increasing production in very deep oil wells and quickly replaces the antiquated mechanical lifts. The device was built by the Bart Manufacturing Company, which in 1930 would change its name to Reda Pump an acronym for Russian Electrical Dynamo of Aratunov. Reda covered nine acres near Bartlesville, and by 1938, it was estimated that over 2% of all oil produced in the U.S. was lifted by an Aratunov pump. At the end of the 20th century, the company was the world's largest manufacturer of ESP systems, having been acquired by the Schlumberger Limited Company. Despite finding great success in Bartlesville, Aratunov finds himself facing deportation from the country he has fallen in love with. So he came over here, and, and once he realized what America was, I mean, he could see that this was the place to be. Dad loved Bartlesville. He was, he was just, it was quintessentially American. They decided that he had to be deported. It finally got down to the point where they said, well, you know, we're trying, but it looks like you're just going to have to leave. And uh, people like my father, mother and father, they didn't go through Ellis Island. When you came in first class on a boat, you got off the boat and went to wherever you were going in America. They were not immigrants at that time. So my father said, uh, well, I'm gonna take a little vacation and think about this. And he went to Washington, but he met a few people in the oil business and so forth. But there's a writer on the bill saying, we consider Armias Aratunov to be a great asset to the United States of America and we declare him a citizen. My dad came back and he met with the lawyers and they said, well, gee, Mr. Artunov, not much we can do. We do have these three very nice boats that you and your family could take back uh, to Europe. And dad said, oh, 
Glad you mentioned that. I've got this paper here from Congress. As a holder of more than 90 patents, Aratunov was inducted into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. A joint resolution was also passed by the Oklahoma House and Senate, naming him Mr. Americanism of Bartlesville. Armias died in February 1978 in Bartlesville, loving the country that took him in and that he lifted, saying, Try as I may, I cannot perform services of such value to repay this wonderful country for granting me sanctuary and the blessings of freedom and citizenship. But my father was an incredible man, and I am glad that all the people that he met knew him, especially me.